Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Before Japan, I'm going to be giving you a little update on my return to Japan. So, I decided to do today's episode raw because I'm kind of in the middle of working on some stuff. Uh, right now, I'm working on my tutorial for this coming Friday on how to enhance performance in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, that's going to be coming out this Friday. I've um, got the main cut of it done. Just got to work on uh, some keyframe stuff, a little zoom in on critical info and things like that. But other than that, should be ready to go by uh, the end of this week. Actually, it'll be maybe like an hour or two. <laughs> but it's going to be coming out on Friday, so I hope you guys check it out when it, uh, when it drops. So, And then after that, I'm going to be working on some stuff for my friend Brian from Robin Adventures. I'm going to be working on some videos for him. Um, really looking forward to how those videos turn out. Um, he had a, a long trip out to Europe a while back, and I'm just working on some videos from that. So, really interesting to see how ramen is uh, presented in a completely different continent. So, be sure to uh, check that out as well when it drops. So, yeah. Now on to the nitty gritty stuff. So, I decided to wait a little bit to post a new episode of Andy Before Japandy because uh, if you guys saw my previous episode, um, I had an interview with the college that I wanted to go to, but it didn't really turn out so well. So they said they'd get back to me within a week or two with uh, whether it was a yay or a nay. And it's been over two weeks and they haven't gotten back to me. So I'm just gonna assume that I didn't make it in. Now I know some of y'all might be wondering, well Andy, why don't you just like contact the college to see if you for sure didn't make it in. You, you know, you could have made it in. And you're right, it's possible. But truth be told, I'm just not uh, not ready for it yet. Um, as you guys know, if you've been watching the Andy Japan, Andy Before Japan D series, excuse me, it's raw, baby. But if you've been watching the Andy Before Japan D series, you'll know that I faced some financial difficulties at the end of 2018, beginning of 2019. Um, I saved up the whole bunch of money and ended up using pretty much all of it for repairing my car, as well as um, paying off a book loan that I owed to a previous university that I went to in order to release transcripts and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, between those two things, pretty much wiped out my whole savings and had to pretty much start over from square one. But beginning of 2019, started a new part-time job. It was, uh, it was really nice. But uh, at the end of February, um, they decided to let me go. So they did, uh, like the company I worked at, it was a little strange because like I was let go from the client that they were working for, but I was considered rehirable. So they actually highly encouraged me to reapply. So I did and I got rehired by them. So I'm gonna be starting my new job at the end of this month in March. So in between now and then, I'm pretty much just doing freelance stuff and uh, just waiting basically the next two weeks the time it's recording to get to work. So yeah, kind of is what it is, you know. I didn't expect this, this return to Japan to be easy and so far it hasn't been. Run across a lot of different obstacles and stuff on my return to Japan. Um, but, you know, that's going to make it all the sweeter once I actually do manage to get myself out there. And there was a couple comments on some of my older videos from this dude who was previous Air Force, got out, went to college, and now is in the Navy. Um, and don't go hunting this dude down. Don't be like flaming him or anything like that. You know, I can tell he, he has his heart in the right place, but he just doesn't know like the full context of everything. And plus, you know, I've I've changed so much over these uh, past few months, you know, much less past like year, basically. And you know, I did, you know, go into a dark place when I got out of the military. You know, I can tell, you know, from his observation and even just looking back on it to see if it was valid. You know, there's a lot of things that I did. A lot of things I didn't do that, you know, but, but you know, like, uh, 
don't know where I'm going with this. This is why I edit my vlogs. <laughs> but basically, you know, I, I did and didn't do some stuff in the military um, that, you know, eventually cost me my career. You know, hint, hint. But, uh, you know, got out, went back to college, didn't do so well either. And, uh, you know, decided to take a break from it to kind of figure my stuff out, figure out what I really wanted. And what I want is to go back to Japan. And I know he's kind of saying that, you know, why would you go back to the country that broke you? But, you know, really it was my job out in that country that broke me, not the country itself. You know, I really, I really did enjoy my time out in Japan. I mean, if I didn't, why would I make like so many videos of my time out there? You know, it just doesn't make any sense. Um... And of course, the same could be said about the Navy, but uh, if you look at that timeline, didn't exactly make a lot of Navy videos during that time either, so, you know, <laughs> kind of add some things up here, right? But, you know, I enjoyed my time out in Japan. It was everything I ever wanted, and more. Um, it's not all sunshine and rainbows over there. I know that. No country's perfect. But uh, for me, Japan was, uh, was where I want to be. That rhymed. <laughs> I have a tendency to do that. I swear to God I don't plan these things. But Japan's the place I want to be. And uh, I want to do what I can to make it happen. And GI Bill seems to be a pretty good good method of that. You know, allows me to go to school. Allows me to have a housing allowance. And, uh, you know, it's just a good opportunity for me to get my learn on. And in this case, in another country. And without it wouldn't really be possible for me because I don't have the money for it. But uh, thanks to GI Bill, I'm able to do it and I want to take full advantage of it, you know? And I realize that I've made a lot of mistakes in my past, you know, during my Navy career, after Navy as well. And a lot of that was because I was doing stuff that, you know, was kind of a compromise between what I really wanted to do you know, I felt like I had to compromise what I want in life because, oh, it's the sensible thing to do, or, oh, it's the logical thing, you know, of course you want to have some money and stuff, and then you can go and do your little fancy thing and stuff like that, you know, but, uh, you know, <laughs> this is where compromise gets you, you know, end up living in a bedroom, you know, so, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that, but, uh, yeah, uh, basically, you know, I feel like my head's in the right spot now. I realized that I made some mistakes in my life, and I'm seeking to correct those mistakes. And, you know, I feel like going back to Japan, because I have a lot of unfinished business there, there's a lot of videos I want to make out there, you know, I feel like that's the place to do it. And plus, I have a lot of contacts out there. A lot of people I want to work with. So it's not just a, well, you know, let's send this fat weeb out there to get his fucking Japan boner up and make him a whole bunch of cool pictures and stuff and then send him back home to be, you know, a real America gen working at a factory or something like that. You know. Um, but I got skills that do pay the bills. Okay, that one I did plan. But... You know, I do have editing skills and editing experience, you know, doing the freelance video editing thing. And I want to see that through, you know. Planted the seed for that about two years ago, starting to see some returns with it. And I want to see that through, man. You know, there's, uh, like I said, a lot of people out there I want to work with. And a lot of things out there in Japan that I want to see and make videos of. You know, not just the touristy stuff, but also some practical stuff as well. You know, like, you know, covering some key elements in living, moving out to Japan, working in Japan, stuff like that. You know, a lot of the stuff that may not be as popular as going to, you know, the latest place in Shinjuku or other spots in Tokyo, but is equally, if not more, important. You know, I definitely want to cover that stuff. When I get back out to Japan. So, yeah. You know, that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. So just a quick recap. Um, I'm going to be taking 
some summer courses out here in North Carolina. Um, get my GPA up, get some BAH, put that away in savings so I can properly save up for my return to Japan. Uh, reapply before the fall semester. Ideally, I want to get in for the fall semester. Um, I should have enough saved up by then to, uh, to be able to afford it. Um, but if they're like, well, we'll wait another semester so you have like a continuous history, basically, then so be it. You know, I have to wait till 2020 to get back to Japan. That would not be ideal, but you know, Japan's gonna be there. And, uh, you know, it's all up to me on when I come back. So, just gotta do what I can to make it happen. And, you know, just uh, keep on keeping on, basically. So, anyway, I know this video is a bit longer than I initially anticipated, but this is what you get when uh, you don't edit your vlogs. So, with that said, guys, this is the Andy Sun. Sign up for now. As always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.